Hey guys, Brandon from Yachts to See here, and today we're going to take a look at a hot new model from Harris. This is the Solstice 250 DC, and the DC stands for Dual Console, which is a hot new trend in the pontoon industry. This boat combines all the great room and features of a pontoon boat with the windshield and cockpit seating area similar to that which you find on a fiberglass runabout. Now we feel this particular boat is one of the best looking boats on the market with the blackout rail package, the black delta arch tower which can be used for wakeboarding, and the low profile tinted windshield. Let's take a closer look. Let's start off at the back of the boat and take a look at some of the features on the transom. Now one of the things you'll notice is the rear deck is extended all the way back to be even with the center tube. And this gives you a nice usable area for walking and maneuvering back here. Next thing is the railing along the sides and the chains that connect to the ski tow bar. This is called the safety rail package and it's an option on this SL layout which we'll look at a little bit closer here in a second but you can ride with the seat flip forward in the rear facing position. You can see the rails go all the way along the side there all stainless steel. Now another great feature on this boat is the boarding ladder again stainless steel it's a four step ladder reaches way down in the water so it makes boarding in deep water a piece of cake and another nice part about the ladder is up top you have an extra wide boarding platform to get in and out of the boat. Now this boat is a tritune as are many of the pontoons we sell nowadays. Harris has three different tritune packages and this is their top of the line package. It's called the P3 and what you get in that package is a full length center tube which is extended in the back. You get four lifting strakes on the inside. You get a full aluminum underskin and an extra large fuel tank. Here's a quick overview of the layout on this boat. It's called the SLDH3 gate, which means the single rear lounger, dual helm, and three gates. One in the front, one in the back, and one on the side. Let's hop inside and take a closer look. Let's go ahead and start off in the bow of the boat and the first thing I want to point out is how big this bow seating area is. Extra long bench seat especially on that starboard side with room for lots of people. Now the interior is the French gray color. It's a standard interior. You can see both sides have the flip up armrests. They both have the built in stainless steel cup holders on them. There's a lot of detail in these seats. The Solstice is a premium level boat for Harris. And look how high that backrest is. It gives you lots of security for your family, even in rough water. And here's a look at the windshield. That's the low profile tinted windshield with the stainless steel cap. And here's the port gate. Another great option on this boat that kind of crosses over with fiberglass runabout is the in floor storage or ski locker, as some people call it. And this is a great storage area for skis or wakeboards, all the larger items you can't fit underneath the seats. Let's move on to the back of the boat, and the windshield flips open just like fiberglass runabout. And here's a look at your dual captain's chairs. They're both the high back ultra luxe seats. Lots of detail that you almost have to see this boat in person to appreciate. And on the driver's seat, you also have the flip up bolster option on this boat which gives you that little extra boost to see up over the bow when you're pulling up to a dock or close quarters like that. Here's the back bench. You can also see this as a Polk Diamond Audio Stereo upgrade with Polk speakers and subwoofer with amplifier. Here's a look at the dual consoles and you can see this has a feel much more like a fiberglass runabout boat than it does a pontoon boat. That windshield gives you the ability to get out of the wind if you're out on a cool day which is probably one of the biggest downsides to a regular pontoon boat. Both are fiberglass helms. You can see here on the driver's side you have a side shifter just like you do on a fiberglass runabout. We've upgraded and added the Simrad Go 5 color touchscreen. Has the analog gauges as well.
You have a separate subwoofer control there on the side and the Polk Audio Stereo which has built-in Bluetooth. The best part about the SL layout is you basically get two different boats in one. You saw the standard interior seating with the forward-facing bench in the back, but the SL means you can flip that back bench backrest and turn it into a rear-facing lounger on the back. Now this is a popular layout in some boats, but many times it's a fixed rear lounger and when you don't want to face backwards, that eats up a lot of room in the back of the boat. In this setup, you can configure it either way depending on your needs that day. There's a look at the safety railing and that means you can ride backwards instead of just lounging when the boat's anchored. Another great part about this layout is the storage under that sun pad. This is a huge storage area. Right now it's full of all the goodies that come with the boat. You got your cover in there and the fenders that come in the QR fender system. But you can store wakeboards or skis in there as well. You also have a jump seat there on the side with some built-in cup holders. So there's a lot of different seating options on this boat. It's just a great multi-purpose layout. Here's a closer look at the Delta Arch Tower. This is not just for show and this is a functional tower. There's knobs on either side that you can screw loose and the tower lays down so you can get it into low clearance areas. Up top there you can see there's a lot of blue LED lights built in. There's your tow point on the back for wakeboarding. Now the canvas is built in on the arch itself but there's an extension on the back which is folded up right now but when you pull it back it covers basically the entire cockpit area. One more thing I want to give you a look at is the underseat storage. All the seats have storage underneath, so there's a lot of extra room besides just the ski locker and under the sun pad. The seats have a dual hinge system, which basically pulls the seat back towards you and then drops down, bringing the seat lower to the floor. And the point of this is to make it easier to reach down into the corners and back of the storage areas. You can see there the seats are almost dropped down to floor level. There's also a channel up top to funnel water away from the seats to keep everything dry. That wraps up today's tour of this 2017 Harris Solstice 250DC, so thanks for joining us at Yachts to Sea. If you'd like more info on this boat, you can check it out on our website at yachtstosea.com, or you can give us a call at 888-369-4501. But this is one of those boats you just have to see in person, so we invite you to swing by our large indoor showroom and take a look. We'd be happy to give you a tour.